Gary. Yeah. What we're doing here is we're doing a history of the All Gauge Store Training Association. And we're starting with the people who've been with us the longest. And we'll, so uh, we want to talk to you. Your name is? Gary, Gary Jarvis. Gary Jarvis. And you started in trains when you were a kid, right? I have a, my old story about how I got into trains. That's what we want to hear. I have the Japanese to count for. Ah, this is interesting. I was kind of, back in 1940, I was, some of my neighbor buddies had trains. You were in Northern California, right? I was born and raised in Sacramento. Okay. 1933. Anyway, 1940, Pearl Harbor hit. My father went down to Sears Roebuck and bought a new set of tires because he knew they were going to be uh, hard to get because of the war. Mm -hmm. And so after he bought the tires, he was leaving. And back in those days, uh, before, between Chris, uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas, toy companies would add more toys to usually down in the basement of a, of a department store. Department store. And as he was leaving, he see all this layout of Lionel, American Flyer. And he was thinking to himself, well, Pearl Harbor, they're going to stop making toys, right? So he bought the American Flyer because it was cheaper than the, the Lionel. Mm -hmm. Do you remember which department store this was? Like it was Sears? Sears and Roebuck in uh, Sacramento. Okay. My uh, grandmother, she always called it Roebuck. Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. And uh, so come Christmas morning, I get this brand new uh, American Flyer set, and I've always said that I have Japanese to thank for it. <laughs> That's great. Gary, how old were you that Christmas? I was... Uh, Eight. I, I guess, yeah. So I was born in 33. 33. Wow, okay. Yeah. So for an eight-year-old 1940, that was quite a Christmas present. Yeah. Well, some of my... Buddies had them already from previous years. But now you still have that train set, don't you? I still have it in the original box. Came with a circle of track. Came with a transformer. I showed it to you. Oh yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. In the original box. And that you're holding on to. Well, my son, he's, you met him, he's 64. He never was in the trains. He wants me to get rid of all my trains. But he said, Dad, don't get rid of your original set. I'd like to keep, he wants to keep it just for, mm -hmm. you know, traditional. That's good. So anyway, you've, you've been collecting American Flyer then all those years. Is all that right? those years. I just assumed, well, I got American Flyer, so that's what I kept. Now you started out in Sacramento. How'd you end up in San Diego? Uh, when the war was over, my uh, father, he never got drafted because he had uh, fee. And, uh, but when the war was over, well, actually, no. During the war, at that time in Sacramento, they didn't have any 
four time. Industry? Industry. Mm -hmm. So we moved to Los Angeles, actually to Santa Monica, and he didn't get drafted because he had a child. But he went to work for uh, 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 we're good. We got, oh, okay. Yeah, we're so good. You keep talking? Yeah, you keep going. Uh, they, they sent him to a uh, uh, school to learn how to be a uh, An engineer, a mechanical engineer. And so we lived there during the war. When the war was over, my mother was a school teacher for years and years. She even taught her uh, second, third, or fourth grade that she went to when she was a girl. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. And then yeah. she went to uh, <clears throat> teaching down there because San Diego was paying more for teachers at the time after the World War II. Mm -hmm. So my, uh, my father got a job down there too. So you ended up in San Diego, and you still had your original train set. Yep. When did you actually get the collecting hood? When did you actually start collecting? Oh, uh, my, my wife became ill in 20-something, and I had to take care of her. So, uh, I uh, had to stay home all the time. So, in 2020 is when she became ill. And so, I uh, decided I need something to do if I'm going to be home all the time. So, I started collecting trade. Well, you've actually been in the club a lot longer than that, though, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. Any any regrets with trains? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not well. The only regret is I chose the wrong one. I shouldn't have chose. I'm going to take issue with that, Gary. Three six feet, uh, <laughs> okay. As and half the people have never heard of three six feet, so. Okay. Well, the way I look at it, you and I are pioneers in that stuff. All right, <laughs> it wasn't a mistake at all. Anyway, yeah, I should have stuck to just regular American fire. That's all right, though. I was looking at your your card. You joined in '03, correct? 2003, you joined in 03. Yeah. Yeah. So you've been 20 year member uh, with us, the All Gauge Story Train Association, and I'm assuming that you've enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. You met some good people, I'm sure. And the other thing is, we've enjoyed you, Gary. You've always been up front, you've been, uh, yeah. you've had stories. We always know where you stand. <laughs> and I think that's a good thing. Gary, I miss your erector set show and tell us. Good point. Because you're also into erector sets, right? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, I probably have one of the, or I did have one of the largest erector sets in what? San Diego. A guy you know, Happy. Sure. He drove out here three times from Tennessee in his SUV and filled it up to the ceiling with the record sets. Yeah. Like the nine foot long. 
You mean the Hellgate Bridge, didn't you? The, the nine foot long uh, but suspension. What's the one in no, the one in uh, New York. Oh, the Brooklyn Bridge? The Brooklyn Bridge, nine, nine foot long. long. Wow. That's true, that was a beauty. Yeah, he had to take the passenger seat out <coughs> and he had that thing from the, the back door clear up to the uh, uh, glove box. Mm -hmm. Wow. And let's see what, he also bought the, uh, what's the other? What about the parachute jump? Uh, no, it's another train, another bridge. Bridge. I don't remember. Okay. Remember the name of it. And uh, but he did buy a parachute jump. And uh, well, you had them all. You had all the big ones. Oh. So Gilbert, he made to you, we switched out of here. Yeah. But now we stopped. Because he's getting sick as I am. Mm -hmm. and can't drive out anymore. Gary, did you get into the reactor sets about the same time you got into the trend? I got the director sets earlier. Okay. I think I was a couple of years earlier. And I still have the first thing I built, which is on the picture of the metal box. Oh, the merry-go-round? No, or the Ferris wheel. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I built a merry-go-round too, but... It's... Well, that's one of the pictures uh, in our catalogs, but anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's uh, one of the main pictures. Yeah. It's going to be a copy of the one in New York and Coney Island. Uh, I see. It's just like the parachute prop is a copy of the one in Coney Island. Mm -hmm. Well, you've been with trains for a long time now. Uh, you're just getting out of them now. Trying to. Trying to move on. Now, what I'm getting at here is if you wanted to start over again, would you still <laughs> do it the way you did it before? I mean, you went at it gung ho and you built up a great collection. I mean, a, a truly beautiful collection. Yeah. Would you yeah. want to do it any differently? If you for, forget all the 360 old age, I had have, I have a beautiful collection. Yeah, you did. I saw it. I just made the mistake of getting into 360. Anyway. So, uh, I think we're going to wrap it up, and if you've got any other comments, like uh, for new people coming in or whatever, or for the club in general, what you think of the club, if we're good for the uh, collection. Yeah, I'm going to donate, not just this couple of cars and I'm going to donate a whole uh, set to uh, Bob Wall today. Oh, mm -hmm. for the raffle? For the raffle. Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a, it came as a complete set. Mm -hmm. And then box car. Yeah. I take it that's going to be a 316 set you're going to donate, right? Well, of course. That's <laughs> all I got. Everything I bring. It's not going to break your heart to see it go by. Huh? Everything I bring to these meetings is a yeah. 316 set. Well, we think it's important that we talk to people like you who've been around a long time, who have a lot to give back to the uh, train collecting. So we thank you, Gary. Yeah. But uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to come to these meetings. It's pretty hard on me. And 
I have to depend on my son to bring me, mm -hmm. pick me up. He carries all the heavy stuff in. But anyway. It's been a pleasure, Gary. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, Gary. Okay.